Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? <laughs> hey folks, how you doing? Sunday, uh, just coming up to six o'clock, a little bit early. Uh, hope you're doing well. Um, all refreshed and full bellies uh, from your Sunday roast or whatever it is you're doing. Morning America, uh, good evening, happy Monday, uh, I don't know, some parts of the world. Uh, London Heathrow, uh, two seven right departures and you're watching Big Jet TV. Run titles GP and that's going to be a repeat in it. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, what's it? Watch this. Watch those wings flex. Now, Dreamliner. Tilt mechanism on the undercarriage. First look. Big long run for it. Yeah, there it is. Into the sort of 767 configuration. Nice shot. Yeah. So there you have it. Triple seven. Um, Uh, hydraulic system tilt mechanism it's a name for it roll up roll up all the fun and affair what happened to it? did it go out? did it go off oh, did it go off oh okay Virgin start up great takeoffs uh, BA319 John yes BA319 John welcome everybody the Hyatt place London Heathrow uh, there is only one um, and uh, no, it's a great place to come if you uh, if you want to look out over London Heathrow see these aircraft taxi quite more uh, uh, a lot more uh, 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 um, viewable if you see what I mean for, as, as opposed to sort of like some hotel rooms uh, which are uh, sort of like restricted uh, for your left and right you can only sort of like you're blinkered in a funny sort of way nice 339 with Air Mauritius look at this beautiful no tilt mechanism on this one just Sink. I'm all out of sync. 
I'm so lost without you. See some great wing profiles today, folks. Here we go. Still lined up the next one. Oh, can hear her winding up though. Yeah. Quite a bit of uh, intake moisture, which is quite interesting. Is there a bit of uh, moisture in the air? Everywhere I look around. <laughs> oh, she's growling, mate. It's a big set of treads on her. Listen to this. See that gear tilt, man? All part of the uh, process it's not a sort of like separate lever where they go okay let's tilt the gear okay gear up it's part of the whole uh, procedure once that gear that lever is uh, is in the vertical all the uh, systems then operate Got an intersecting departure coming out um, so it's gonna go up like a skyrocket in it Every second, every second. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm being foolish. There was um, some emergency vehicles around that uh, area that you're looking at now, um, at, around the 380 uh, earlier on. In fact, I think there's still an ops vehicle there, but uh, yeah, they, they had the blue flashing lights, so it might have been a, um, a spill or something like that. Maybe not related to the aircraft, but maybe some, uh, some freight has, um, has leaked. Wow, straight into it. Simon and Jody Babbage are new members. Ah, very rarely say that. Simon and Jody, there we go. Welcome, Simon and Jody. Get involved in the chat, folks. Please get involved. Don't uh, don't hesitate. Uh, even though I've got my flight radar app open, it's it's difficult for me to sort of like. Uh, I mean, I am multitasking, but I like to sort of like scan the airfield while you guys uh, keep me posted on what's um, what's happening around the airfield or uh, anything specific that's uh, on radar to come out. See the old one, look. See the old one, look. The toy one, innit, he used to have. I get a little bit of a, unless uh, she's being uh, pushed up to, or towed up to, um, is this a pushback? And start, uh, let's just have a little look her, uh, even though her, uh, anti-collisions are on always indicates uh, an aircraft is live for uh, I think based on the lack of uh, the number of people around that head plane I'd say she's being towed up to maintenance God bless you. I did it. Wow big um, big bit of news that I read up on um, and of course keep me posted on any news and stuff like that folks um, I want to try and get the latest on this Global Airlines um, holiday company with the 380 lots of posts of the fella um, whatever his name is um, uh, uh, doing pictures of himself next to the plane and in the cockpit and all that it's great good prop it's, it's good marketing but I want to sort of like uh, get some ideas on you know uh, configuration of the aircraft what's going to look like inside um, uh, what the plans are um, uh, air crew um, uh, uniforms uh, all that kind of groovy stuff you know um, great you've got yourself a load of free eight brilliant mate. but come on let's let's see the airline let's see that um, I have offered to film the uh, inaugural flight. It's fallen on deaf ears, isn't it? 
probably trying to get ITV on, in on it, which is totally understandable. I mean, a local news station would love something like that. Maybe even a national news station, to be honest with you. Gray is a returning member. Welcome back, Paul. And we've got Brian Clark, brand spanking, new member, still got the cellophane on. You see that shot there? In the back, kind of Los Angeles esque, isn't it? We're very fortunate to have these amazing locations around uh, London Heathrow folks and we have to say a big thank you to all the folks that we work with um, and we are planning another new location some of you may have heard it uh, a while back um, when I mentioned it we've got to keep it well under wraps at the moment but we are working on the potential for a new location folks and uh, when we uh, get more news I heard from my contact as early as this morning uh, I have to say and uh, hello John it's all you get, John. Count yourselves lucky it's not Dave. <laughs> oh, nice little 220. Yeah, Iceland Air, massive order for Airbus 320 Neos. 321 XLRs as well, I think. Um, have, they, have, they, have they sort of like dumped, not dumped Boeing, but why would you mix a fleet like that? That's a big question, eh? I mean, some people do, of course, you know, have a mixture of Boeing and Airbus, like British Airways, for example, and, you know, Virgin Atlantic. So. But for um, for an airline that is replacing long-haul aircraft, like their 767s and 757s, uh, I was on the understanding that they were all going to be uh, 737s, uh, which look amazing in the new livery. But I have read this morning that apparently um, they have placed an order with um, with Airbus for a, a significant number of uh, XLR, extra long range, uh, seven, uh, uh, A320neo. It's an old sea growling away as I am. Even the little ones look cool, man. Yeah. Okay, I can do. I can do. Um, <laughs> this is why I never get to look at the chat because they just uh, they send them out. A lot of uh, cashier number four, please. Yeah, I'd like to send this Dreamliner, please. flex up man look at them flex up look at that right at the point of v1 watch that look at the flex yeah GP copy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Always a little bit right when I don't live. Simon Dinsmore, who just said the cameraman needs more practice. Good luck to you, fella. Oh, okay. You need to come up, mate. That's a personal invitation, isn't it? <laughs> come on, son. Sees down the road, isn't he? Well, let him have it, Jimmy. Let him have it. Camera work, please. He's sitting off. 
funky shot. No, no, just mate, it's funny, mate. It's funny sitting there on his couch or down the boozer. <laughs> Secretly texting away in the toilet between his Brussels sprouts or her. Camera works fine, it's just the geography and the singing that, that this leaves a little bit to be desired. But hey, I'll challenge anyone to come up here again and uh, and let rip with their uh, singing, <laughs> whatever. Um, and that, that is that's a joke, of course. Thomas Holmes is a brand spanking new member. Welcome, Thomas, great to see you here. Uh, Susan New, great shots of these liftoffs. Beautiful A350. Look at the wing, you see the end of the wing there? Just never looks. Yeah. Look at the climb rate on that thing, man. Yeah. Someone's banging it out on their 66 inch TV or whatever it is. Love that contrast, moody skies. Now, they are, I don't know what, I don't know what height this cloud's at. I think that's uh, quite some way off before they hit the cloud. She's gonna move left any moment now. Way below the cloud. Oh, crazy sun, easy. Easy sun, easy. Let's just see this beautiful bank turn. Look. Wow. Wow, look how quick she's gone up, mate. Could get funky, could get funky. Quite a few um, funkadelic uh, shots, artwork this afternoon, into the evening. Eaters uh, 320 lined up. Uh, by the way, folks, um, Toulouse has been moved to not next week, but the following week. Uh, let's just have a quick look at that because you know what I've done? She put my diary on my homepage of my phone so I can have a look. And it is July the 18th, uh, uh, sorry, July the 19th that I'm going to be filming uh, at Toulouse. Uh, so we are going to be um, with our wonderful members um, down in Toulouse at the Airbus assembly um, plant where uh, 350, um, 320. T320, sorry, <laughs> Neo. Um, and also, where was it? Was um was the uh XL? I think they were all assembled at um at Toulouse, weren't they? Interesting to think about the 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 what's that? What's that? Yeah, beluga, yeah. Wow, look at this oh, no, I didn't, I didn't. What is that? Is that? She's not in service yet, though. She's not in service yet. Got a bit of an issue there 
with the uh, with the undercarriage. She's leveled out. Uh, late gear attraction, um, possibly. Don't often see that on the Airbus, to be perfectly honest. Well, on the 320s, and that's a CEO as well. So, possibly a maintenance issue there in terms of like a, a hot brake or a, it's quite a decent taxi from the um, from T5 down to uh, the far end of 27 right. So, um, it's understandable if that brake's got a, 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 a an ever so slight sort of. Uh, binding issue or something like that or the um, the wheel undercarriage wheel well alarm has possibly um, is malfunctioning and therefore they need to make sure that uh, there we go up they go one of eaters CEO jets so we know that those CEOs are going to be in service for a little while longer. Uh, you wouldn't paint an aircraft in all new funky colours. Um, so yeah, it should be quite, should be quite an interesting run down to Toulouse. Um, premium first and super class members, of course, as always. Um, May in the um, in the near future, folks. Maybe uh... oh, okay. Let's okay. Let's uh, A three eighty. There it is. Um, love it folks here we go uh, quite a few uh, I say quite a few a couple of 380s down at seven I don't know Alan Brook 747 Jumbo I got to say forget the sequence of chassis are in the sun hard decent one for you great um, Short final floor right on page. Think Patrick Crimmins. Great shots, Jerry. Enjoyable as usual with the clouds and funky shots. Climb rate. Um, Patrick, thank you very much indeed. Great to have you guys all getting involved in the chat as well, folks, because that's what it's all about. Get involved. Um, I will, of course, try and read out as many of your comments as possible. All green highlighted um, comments are my members, uh, but you can subscribe to the channel and chat. But um, my members are whom I am discussing. See how long that run is. How long that run is. Look how long that run is. Still 100 feet. What's that, GP? Oh, okay, okay. So Airbus is still doing that. Wow, they're, 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 so they're putting their XL on that outsized cargo um, platform, are they? That's interesting. That's very interesting because I thought it was just their uh, old belugas that they were doing that with. Okay, here we go, folks. No one needs any introduction to this, do they? Always difficult to know what shot to shoot. Everything in deep shot. I'll tell you what, though, with these wins, we will get to see her. Uh, multiple ailerons
can see them moving. See them. There we go. You can see them. Three separate split ailerons on the outboards. Oh, start up. Oh, big Rose just pushed. She's only here. Uh... Here comes that turn. Straight over your last GP. Hear that growl coming there. A big fight going on between a couple of crows and a and a buzzard or whatever. Super jumbo, as uh, Etihad had called theirs. The big row, get I off to gate. I think she might uh, park up next to us actually. Okay, watch the gear tilt if you missed it earlier, folks. Dreamliner does it as well as the, um, but it tilts forward. Uh, mind you, it's so that's okay. <laughs> it's true, it's uh, Another long run. Look out, folks. Look at me, Nick. Wow. 200 yards from the end of the runway, of a two mile runway. That's pretty insane, mate. They run them long just to look after the engines. Yeah, we were quite fortunate with that earlier Dreamliner right at the front end of the show with, that it was uh, rotating quite early enough for us to get a look at the undercarriage tilt, the gear tilt. Pakistan now off the, uh, off the books with Virgin Atlantic. They have now uh, ceased uh, their run. Um their hot relations into Pakistan. It's continuing obviously down into uh, India. Oh, is it? Ah, it's a beautiful aeroplane, look at this. Listen out for the clunk, because you don't half get it when you're sitting over the wing on the 350, I tell you. Boom! As they shut. It's a little bit shocking for the first time if you fly on a 350. And uh, remember a 350 pilot telling me, won't name the airline, but uh, that was the one big thing he was surprised at. Was the clunk of it because you don't get it with the simulator i believe i'm led to believe that unless they've uh, revised it and built it in because you kind of need that <laughs> get i uh, screaming emu the 727 actually had four rudder sections if i recall blimey four wow we all we're all familiar with a split rudder you know uh, but blimey four of them Quantify. That's one heck of a D rate. D rate. Yes. What he's talking about there, folks. When he talks about a D rate, is like the engines are at very. It's like going up. It's like going along the road in your car and only putting your foot halfway down on the throttle. You know. Um, that in turn will always, um, you know, preserve your engine. And that's exactly what uh, Virgin Atlantic, at least, are doing. Um, British Airways tend to do it quite a lot as well. Uh, Mark Hampson is Arthur around today. Not sure. Uh, if you go on flight radar and look for Arthur, um, this actually, it's only called Arthur because it's got Arthur wingtip. <laughs> I don't know if she's been fixed yet or he's been fixed. Good day. Um, but um, I don't know if she's down the other end in the maintenance area. We've only got one 380 interestingly enough parked up at uh, a gate here i think it's her uh, i think it is her right hand wing isn't it where the wingtip is missing so yeah interesting very interesting order that uh, or order order that uh, airbus uh, have been um given by um iceland air i thought they were going out uh, because they were 
time rule bully, didn't they? 767 and uh, 737. Is that true? Is that right? Am, am, I, am, I, am I right? Things go up like skyrockets, do Very quiet engines. Good day. Kuzro Alam. Some variants of the 727 had front wheel brakes too. Wow. Now that's interesting. Was that because they needed more brakes? Because uh, they only, I think the 727, if I remember, also had a reverse thruster doors um, on the on the third on the second engine when i say the second one i'm talking about the mid engine i'm sure the dc the md11 does uh, something i noticed a while back oh nice uzbekistan someone really screaming out on the chat look left Might get a little bit of a start up from these uh, from these XWBs. Um, it's all about timing, though, isn't it? Paul Skelling has gifted a big jet team in membership. Thank you so much, Paul. A lovely thing to do. Uh, and Brad Ward has also gifted five big jet team memberships. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, everybody. Great to see you here. Eugene Mick is a new member. Welcome, Eugene. Just going to keep your voice down, just in case we get a, a little, it's not a big startup noise with the XWB. A very brief, low bass. M27 100 had wheel brakes, uh, nose wheel brakes when it came into service. Most were deactivated. Andrew Doubtfire, do 787 still need to leave the wheels down after takeoff? Not all of them, Andrew. Oh, lovely old 767. United need to have a ceremony, didn't they? An opening ceremony for their for their hangar here, but it's all sort of like already happened, isn't it? Bruce McDonald must be going either to or from remote. Ah! What, the Finnair 350? No, she's starting up. Uh, I don't know what, if that's what he's related to. Runa Haldorsen, Iceland Air, is also going to lease Airbus plane. Yes, indeed they are, until they get their own. The XLR is the best replacement at the moment. Yeah, that's right. tail that she's missing she's missing and her tail is there now she's either she's coming out folks she's coming out hey uh, big B uh, biggie B um, no um, 
no uh, no third runway for the for the foreseeable future I'd imagine that's sort of like lost its lost its pace now hasn't it um, because obviously there's no mon there's no money around is there uh, oh you got that it's just not going to happen not in our not not in my lifetime I can't imagine um, the third runway uh, it's obviously continues to be discussed but uh, only comes up uh, now and then uh, and when it does it's sort of like you know it's just not going Kelvin Grant wonder how uh, what was that hydraulic pressure for running section on the 727 yeah, yeah gotta have a little look at that next time um, got to see ex uh, an example of that 727 for um, rudder assembly Imagine that's on Google, isn't it? Surely if it's something that's quite um, unique to the 727 at least, uh, surely that's going to be on Google somewhere. There's going to be a reference to it, I'd imagine. Come on, who's going to find that first? Come on, all you... Uh... Wow, so far. Eugene, we've got Eugene. Sorry, folks. Just trying to... LCD, Liquid Crystal Display, as a new member. Welcome, LCD. This is a uh, Air France 220, isn't it? Amazing uh, airport, Charles de Gaulle, folks. If you, especially if you're on um, on the bottom tier, right at the bottom, on domestics, and you're on the ground floor. Uh, you see these aircraft. Yeah, it all depends on which terminal you're flying from, but certainly flying to the UK um, or domestically, I think, from uh, from Charles de Gaulle, you get to. Uh, uh, your departure gate is generally down in the sort of basement and that is where <laughs> you are looking directly it's almost like let me just show you it's, it's like being sat behind that window there but a massive great big glass panel all the way along and you get these triple sevens taxiing in and uh, and stopping and just everything you've mesmerized by it folks I tell you it is as you see it there and it's like I'm sure there's people on here who've been to CDG uh, Kayatar is a new member welcome Kayatar uh, emoji uh, husky dog uh, you should be at email today thunder lightning rail hay wind all nature's uh, pyrotechnics in the last half hour husky dog yeah well can't be everywhere at any time and uh, you know uh, ev any all places at the same time <laughs> It is a shame. That's crazy. Isn't it? Yeah, my big question about the, the whole um, Iceland Air slash Airbus um, order um, and um, you know uh, involvement is is as i was mentioning earlier is that maybe somebody on here now can answer my question were they not predominantly um boeing uh, customers and also um you know was the 737 max not their not their next big sort of like you know order if you know what i mean michael Morgan, hoping to tv travels to dc i live in maryland we're glad you uh, treat Jerry to a coffee. All the way to DC for a coffee. How about that? Thank you, my friend. It is. Um, I'm honoured and um, privileged to meet so many nice people around the world when I travel. Did we check Washington? Check Washington. Sure. GP. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. 
I didn't dream it that we were talking about uh, we were talking about the earth. Um, I don't think there's going to be a long range uh, or an extended 220. Is there? Um, or are they just going to stick with a 321 Neo? D-rated departure. How long she is. Been. Oh, look at that flex. Royal Brunei. Got a 380, folks. There she is. A22500 keeps getting teased about Nick Gray. Yes, they mentioned that at uh, Paris, I seem to remember. Um, Ian Finley, uh, Iceland Air had DC8s in the early 80s. Yes, wow. Um, I think uh, almost all um, sort of like long haul carriers had the DC8, didn't they? Toyed with it before the, you know, the 707. Um, before the 747 came along and sort of like, you know, um, broke its heart. So mind you, it was sort of like the same era, weren't they? You know, late 70s, the, sort of like the late 70s, early 60s was the DC-8, the earlier of the two. I know my old man flew them. and they had DCAs. Okay, so, sorry. George Locke derated departure. Uh, uh, is that you questioning it or is that uh, asking what a derated departure is? Or, um, but yes is the answer to uh, if you're asking if it was a derated departure. up there 350 now you see it does make you wonder doesn't it hey it does make you wonder whether BA are like oh, maybe we were a little bit hasty getting rid of all our jumbos maybe if we had a sort of like kept half a dozen of them or something like that uh, and then we could have slowly released them back into the you know as as we got deliveries of new aircraft could they not sort of like think ahead of the the game think outside the box and think yeah you know what there's going to be uh because it was quite early on wasn't it that there was it, it became apparent that, that there was a shortage of materials and that uh, aircraft production would slow down uh within time um just based purely on the on the on the availability of of, of raw materials to manufacture these amazing airplanes uh when you had 747s all there all the time you could have run them mind you saw land or picture land or the other day it looked like she was ready to go man um imagine that hey what a netflix uh what a netflix movie that would make bring back the gym beer. <laughs> um, Lufthansa did it, you see. Luf Lufthansa had the, the forethought to uh, sort of like think, mm, you know what, 
when eventually this whole thing ends, uh, we're still going to have a serious issue with uh, with aircraft. So rather than leasing aircraft off of, uh, of, of, of people like that, uh, Lufthansa decided to mothball their 380s, 747s, A340s, 600s, 300s. 600s, 300s, get one of off. Um, yeah, I know it's not, um, you know, in terms of, because they all hedge their fuel as well, folks. You know, a lot of these airlines hedge fuel, so buy fuel into the future. The future. So it's all paid for, really. Uh, look at this beautiful 777 winding her engines up, man. You can see their, uh, you can see their General Electrics, big stubby winders on her. A little bit of moisture and in the intakes, over one ton of air per second being ingested into those things. One ton of air. There's only one ton of air. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this is this. on Radio 6 Music who uh, he was a guest and he did a, um, a poem and it was extensively long uh, about the the, um, the people involved with um, Glastonbury you know from the sort of like you know the grass cutters to the you know everybody you know um, oh, look at this lovely bandit trash panda love that livery is she going to go up early? Nice. Oh, could get funky. This could get funky. Yeah. Stand by for a funk injection in three, two, one. There it is. Injection of funk. And a fade out to boot. How about that, eh? Hey? Bleeding going on about me. Bleeding camera work. Yeah. A satin finish, and it? it's not gloss, isn't it? It's like uh, I like from the seagulls. Nice. <laughs> Little BHS sitting there like amongst all the What are you doing here then? Well I'm just coming up sort of like I hope you don't mind. Yeah but you know it's all us boys and girls in here look you come down here and upset the apple cart son <laughs> don't blame me But uh, yes, I have flown uh, a couple of times now from Terminal um, 3 with BA.
Effortless, mate. Effortless. Oh, my that. Wow. Gracious bird, man. You know, the, um, uh, it, is a, it is a lot of people, uh, uh, one element of our members who love to, you know, who are excited to see uh, new aircraft in their paint, you know, test flights and all that kind of stuff, or going out on their, you know, first, second or third test flight program um, at Toulouse. Um, but for me, I like to see the, uh, the raw stuff with the, um, with the aircraft still in their primer paint and, um, you know, carbon, the 350s, you see the carbon uh, fuselage, the front end is sort of like in a, uh, in that green primer, um, anti, um, you know, the paint is uh, anti-corrosive stuff in it before, you know, the primer goes on it and then, uh, and then the top coats and all that kind of, before she goes to paint anyway. And we call them gliders as well. Uh, where there's no engines on the aircraft, it's just counterweights uh, where the engines would be. Uh, seeing that kind of thing to me, um, I get just as much a kick out of seeing the new ETA A330-9 um, uh, and the uh, or uh, the, the, the Beluga XL, um, the last of the new Beluga XLs, I believe. She's got a, a bit of a funky livery. One of the eyes winking, Jilly tells me. Astana 321. Switched out for one of their 757s, I think. I don't know if that's a leap powered jet. Always remember seeing their 757s with the nice uh, mood lighting inside. Always look like purple, a bit purpley, a bit uh, Virgin Atlantic esque. Just. Uh, rolling out echo six bravo thank you echo six bravo has gifted 10 big jet tv memberships uh, vera provas now nikova provas provas vera welcome to big jet tv a very very warm welcome to you vera um lovely to see you here lovely to see all our new members here um great to see, great to have you on board folks Thank you for your support. And of course, you'll be able to join me next, not next week, but the week after, on the 19th of July. Um, we're going to be in Toulouse, France, for a day of um, a live show with um, all sorts of things uh, that we'll be filming. It is, a, it is a, an active airfield, um, Toulouse Blagnac. Hey, listen to me getting all smart. Easy Rodney, nice and calm, nice and calm. Uh, Sarah and Jeff watching with Sarah. Good day to you, Patrick Crimmins. What determines an aircraft's climb rate today? Many are climbing steadily, but uh, others are flat. Patrick, great, sh great question, uh, that. Um, it is all based on um, the aircraft's um, operational envelope uh, in terms of its weight all this would be manual of course um, the uh, the predetermined um, v1 or rotate speed will be um, governed by the information that's inputted into the computers basically the flight management computer uh, the weight of the aircraft how many passengers uh, well not how many but weight of passengers um, based on an average weight sort of thing um, and then allowing a little bit more the amount of fuel you've got on board the weight of the um, any cargo that you might have um, and of course uh, the luggage uh, the crew etc etc 
um, that will then determine uh, the length of takeoff but the Dreamliner even so even when she's light as far as I'm aware uh, a lot of uh, Rolls-Royce recommend that they run them all the way out it's a very intelligent aircraft always remember our good friend Zane Dunning uh, Dreamliner captain with Virgin Atlantic uh, mentioning how amazingly intelligent uh, the 787 is uh, having come off of the 747 in terms of its um, well intelligence <laughs> it will um, it will literally do everything for you and uh, even though I've heard stories of pilots wincing as their aircraft <laughs> hurtles towards the end of the runway uh, they always feel extremely safe with uh, in the knowledge that it's a very intelligent it isn't something that you sort of like pick up on as a passenger unless of course you're uh, F geek. <laughs> Les Donaldson Air Lingus livery looks dated now. Well, we're talking about the, uh, I, I guess, the old, uh, I won't say the old, old but the, uh, the green, the all over livery, shall we say, uh, as opposed to the new, sort of like modern style livery that everyone seems to have adopted over the years where it bleeds down onto the fuselage, much like what you're seeing there with Iberia. At least, um, probably on a, I'd imagine this is a dry lease. I'd imagine that um, they would be leasing the aeroplane and the pilots themselves, unless they're, because there is this massive shortage of pilots. British Airways just announced the other day that they're on a huge uh, pilot recruitment drive. Um, there are, um, just, just, just Google it pilot recruitment British Airways if you're a sort of like a trainee pilot or if you're at that point where you're sort of like very soon going to be significant ramp there that that aircraft is going up and just about now that's why pilot gave it a bit of beans to get it up that ramp it's about there's a there's sort of like five or six foot drop um, to the left and the right of that ramp position don't look like it because you can't see it it's hot collusion it's, it's still one leave the runway every 12 seconds take for a dream rider as it is Oh, it's Iberia, is it? It's an Iberia flight number, is it? Oh, I'll take that all back then. <laughs> everything I said about the lease of the aircraft and everything. I thought they operated for VA. I know they have done it for years. Used to run the 343, didn't they? And 346, wasn't it? Sort of like summer season. Yes.
of course I should really remember shouldn't I that Liberia operated their uh, they've been operating um, with BA haven't they because part of the One World Group and been, been operating with them for quite some time a number of years well certainly ever since uh, we've been on there <laughs> so it's nothing to do with the lease of the jumbos or anything like that. I'd like to just think that way you know mind you the thin air stuff isn't that relatively you know but that's uh, small stuff isn't it Runway is uh, is empty at this point because obviously I think a, quite a bit of um, turbulent air from the wake of that super jump. Do, yeah, does she have the right to be titled the super jump? Just Etty had. They are referred to as super, aren't they? Um, when um, certainly in the US. Uh, HGC BA293 is number 10. Yes, Stephen Billings, yeah. Uh, Dublin Airport 787 uh, had its door ripped off um, by a faulty walk bridge. Um, so that, when would that have been? During, possibly, I'd imagine, the... I, I'm trying to sort of, like, figure out how that happened, whether it was... It must have been, surely, during the, um, the uh, door closure part of it, as in the departure um, window, rather than the arrival, because, you know, the walk bridge has to go up to the aircraft, everything's secure, and then you open the door, you get the knock on the door, blah, blah, blah. Um, but in terms of uh, a door being torn off by a wall, bridge, that's got to be quite a violent action, isn't it? Um, which would potentially involve sort of like, you know, because obviously the door needs to be closed on the aircraft before the walk bridge is moved away. Is that not right? I think that's the procedure um, and um, with that being the case kind of um, makes you wonder whether the uh, the walk bridge was moved or started moving whilst the door was sort of like half closed or something like that believe as far as I can understand it uh, that Airbus are delivering all of their aircraft with 5% sustainable aviation fuel now so all of their aircraft are being delivered with 5% SAF um, doesn't sound like a lot but um, when you put that when you take that out over a year of all the deliveries that they do um, you can appreciate how many millions of tons of, uh, of um, uh, carbon off print that is in terms of uh, you know the, the reduction in CO2 etc etc uh, John Sherr it's wonderful to see private 777 jet VP counterpart today I saw her arrive on but uh, uh, was last week she's not in town is she that private 777 is she back in town Kuwait or something like that. Who's that? Who's that? What's the point of rotate, folks? Have a long run. 
quite early this time though. wanted to fly early and she did big carbon wing on it so impressive isn't it carbon composite wing who would have thought it 25 years ago 30 years ago uh, 10 years ago yeah, 15 something like that it took 787 20 years how long is 787 it was relatively new when, uh, since 1990, not 2000, 2010, 17, 2017. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just thinking of moments in my life when I saw the 787 starting to operate, and when I what, what I was doing and sort of like figuring those dates. Uh, and I think it was around about 2016. Uh, no. 2010 maybe 2010 say 2009 when did BA take delivery oh 2014 wow okay miles over uh, Michelozzo uh, Di Bari best li livery ever thank you Michelos. Um, Sue Taylor, Declan Dolan. A jet bridge attached to the aircraft appears to have collapsed. Oh my good goal. Well, it's collapsed. Well, yeah, but it can only collapse so far because they're they're on wheels, aren't they? They're on. How the hell's that collapsed, man? Has the hydraulics failed? Right. Lucky nobody was injured, man. If that's if that's failed, whilst the aircraft, whilst the uh, warp bridge was attached, 2011. Oh, okay. So 2011. That's uh, I was three years out. Okay, dash nine, 2014. Now. Okay, so I wasn't far out then. American Airlines. Do I? Cheetah 1903 Will Air Force One flyover. Where is she? Uh, not if she's coming from going from Stansted, is she? Stansted! Read all about it! <laughs> Geese are selling the standard outside London Bridge. Damn it! It's like uh, back in the old days with the taxi firms. You get so familiar with answering the phone. My name's Alan Taxis. I'm sorry? My name's Alan Taxis. I'm sorry. Is that station taxis? Yeah, this is Alan Taxis. Oh. Are we going to go funky on this? We're going to go a little bit funky. Oh, she's quite low, the other one. Still got a bit of funk in it. Not too bad. We like the deep funk though, don't we? 350, 1000. Fired up and ready to go. Yet. Ford leading edge slats have been extended, flaps are extended as well, meaning she is configured for flying. Oh, she's Hong Kong bound, is she? Yeah, yeah. Is it showing her mind? Uh, 
here now, loving the TAP livery. Penny Haskins, Rusty T, most Neos can run SAF 50% or more already. Uh, Rusty T, they can run 100% uh, SAF, and they have done so far. Uh, I think Airbus have even tested an aircraft with both engines running full 100% SAF. They're that confident. But let's remember, we're not talking about the aeroplane, we're talking about the engine manufacturer. Um, really, to be honest with you, uh, somebody told me that you know these these engines can literally run on anything. Um, but um, just so long as it's a combustible material, or it can be combusted. Pussy PJs, big tail moving. It's a, it's a movie, isn't it? Big tail moving. Uh, Sammy Hussein, good day to you. Uh, Bombardier for out there, Clint Dolan. Uh, screaming email, airspace, people planning for the train. Alex Grant, A350 1000, such a sleek and elegant looking machine. Maurice Vergusen, yes, they three RTOs at Amsterdam, wow. Um, Sue Taylor, Paul Brown, can normal aircraft perform exotic movements like you would say at an air show? with um, the F-15. Paul Brown, yeah, well obviously they can operate within a, within a specific envelope. Um, and uh, let's face it, the, uh, the aircraft that you see performing at uh, air shows or air displays um, are, um, are aircraft that have not been specially adapted for air shows, uh, but they would have to turn off um, certain, um, you know, anti-stall stuff and all that kind of thing to uh, allow the aircraft to work outside its envelope uh, with those big steep turns. If you imagine, you know, uh, normally an aircraft's gonna scream and shout at you, you know, bank angle, bank angle, stall, 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 warning, overspeed, overspeed, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, mind you, apparently it's still, on some of them, it still does shout and scream at them. Runway too short! <laughs> Stop excessive rudder input! That's one I had the other day with Dave. Too much, uh, if you stick your left foot down on a rudder or right foot hard down on a rudder while you're at 20,000 feet, the aircraft will go, Stop rudder input! It's like, oh, all right, all right, all right. What's the matter with you? Good day to you, Kathy Collis. Should all have your uh, latest um, personalised signed photographs uh, now, folks. Um, if you are a Big Jet TV first or superclass member, you can go into your system. That backdrop, you know, you could almost um, it's take an aircraft from that point of view and, and say, guess the airport. I know everyone's going, it's too far, it's too far, I can see from the terminal building. I know, but what I'm saying is it is quite, <laughs> it is quite a, uh, that's what I mean, right, anyway. uh, Daniel Burns, friend of mine, Chris worked for a car sales called Hadley Garage. He would often answer the phone, Hadley Ga Garbage. <laughs> Graham, um, Hadley Garage. What's his name, Hadley? So true, funny how it seems. Always in time, but never in time for dreams. Tony Hadley, wasn't it? So true, so this is the sound. Back. Sue Taylor, Enfield, Connecticut. Connecticut, good day to you. Rusty T, A380s make a lot of money for BA. Wow, that's great news. Um, make a lot of money for BA. Where's that come from? Guess the airport now. Now, 
now. <laughs> is that, with that backdrop there, the, uh, the South Downs, or is it the North Downs? All right, Sad? All right, mate. All right, Sad? Watch this thing float off the ground, folks. Look at her, she's hammering it. Now I've come back again! Do, 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Ken Alloway, uh, I'd be 359. Uh, boot. Uh, sorry, Margie Ann. Uh, Mary Perkins. <laughs> Looking for a wedding singer. Available for. Uh, Special occasions only. <laughs> Did what? Oh, Max Pankangle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still standing. Airbus windshield is sleek. It is, isn't it? Um, but then the um, the, air, the the windshield on um, on all of uh, Air Canada's new jets um, with the uh, the bandit livery, the trash panda livery. Howdy there! Hello, mate. your split rudder that we were talking about folks see like <laughs> I think um need to be confirmed by our uh, resident pilots I'm aware uh, the rudder assembly is split for um, for the reason that uh, it's such a big assembly that the um, that the if, if, if it was linked um, as in locked together during its when it's on an airfield with high winds um, it's kind of allowed to move under its own steam if you see what I mean um, and the reason why they have it split like that splitter 
is because uh, too much force um, on the on the whole assembly would potentially uh, weaken. Oh, sorry. What's that all about? Is that maybe glitched in? Is it good now? Are we? F F C Festa. Am I talking, Jilly? Am I am I good to talk or? It's good at all. Oh. say FFC Fiesta. A very warm welcome to you as a brand new member. Welcome all our new members. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's somewhere in the region of, um, yeah, I don't know how many bleeding subscribers, but they're all natural. They're all um, organic uh, and we're very uh, proud to, uh, oh, nice Star Alliance 777. Nice. Is that United or? Uh, yeah, no, see. Sorry for the uh, little uh, glitch there, folks. It's been sitting there for quite a while, hasn't it? No. Bit of a long wait. Hey, hey. ATR 42. Ha ha! Remembered. on a 737-8.
make sure you subscribe to the channel, folks. Um, only because we don't want you missing out on future shows. Last um, show every uh, Wednesday and Sunday, if we're not away with our uh, members overseas somewhere. Loving the Logan Air livery. regularly discuss here on the show. Winglet design. This is a uh, fence style winglet that we're seeing on this uh, classic 330 I'll call it. Um, there for the purpose of um, aerodynamics. Um, if you look at wings or any type of, uh, um, well, wing on any vehicle, it's for uh, aerodynamic purposes, to improve aerodynamics, clean up the airflow. Oh, my God, okay. I'm just going to, I need to go for a wing. They're looking. Oh. How's it looking? Are we back on? Are we back on? Or? Oh, okay.
right, man. Wings flexing away there. Dirty old engines there. Bit like an old Massey Ferguson. Bit old her. Out on them fields again. A bit of a face off going on. What is going on? Is that 350? Uh, it's been there for the best part of 10 minutes, isn't it? Maybe even longer. What? I told you. Yeah, man. MC Media and Film. This feed is looking tack sharp tonight. Awesome. Love feedback like that. Love it. Thank you, sir. Yes, Barry. I also uh, had a turn up wing on my uh, paper aeroplanes. That's interesting, isn't it? Yes, and they were uh, and they were um, fence style. Isn't that funny? I wonder if the person who developed the winglet once did it as a kid with their paper plane and it became a wing. Um, aerodynamics designer or something like that with um, with Boeing or whomever and um, suggested it put it down on paper a lot of these things you know as a as a sort of like um, an idea uh, sometimes on the back of a, a napkin serviette as the Americans would see thank you Tony Uh, Mickey Weber, uh, Mikel, sorry, Mikel Weber, is there a, a military aircraft landing Heathrow? Very rarely, Mikel, only when there's a special operation or something like that. We've had, uh, well, I mean, recently we've had uh, C-17 in, um, not that long ago, I think. I know it was a 400, wasn't it? A400M. Yeah, tight shots, man. Love tight shots. Yeah. Of course, the angle of attack will also be uh, preset by the uh, flight management system um, for the. Um, when I talk about the uh, the trim stabilizer, you can see that white leading edge there of the uh, of the horizontal stabilizer, which is trimmed out um, and continues to. Uh, to um, trim itself during flight, but uh, will always be a preset for departure. Um, is that some big has just landed? Is that, uh, is that Eva Triple? Nice, there she is, there she is, there she is. Hello, that's a bit interesting. Now, is that just my old um, 60 year old eyes or? Um, or is that logo always uh, had a chunk out of it? Trent 700s growling away. It's always been like that, is it? Great to uh, to sign uh, all of those. Uh, even though I did get um, repetitive strain injury or whatever it was, woke up the next morning, the arms were like, you know, can't move my arms. It's all that signing you've been doing. Um, do it on an iPhone as well uh, with a pen with a rubber tip to it is quite difficult because you want it you want it uh, nice big thick writing as well, like a, like almost like a uh, um, what they called uh, oh, um, type of pin. you know the flat one.
Hey -o. Hello. Oh. Angular. What's happened again? Uh, okay, just a reboot then, a complete reboot. Commenting, Jelly. Forget about people commenting. Let's just try and. Do you want me to. There's nothing that. No, no, a reboot's not going to do it. So it's nothing to do with the connections here, no? Nothing to do with the connections. Okay, alright. So I just. <laughs> I just wait it out, yeah? I'll just wait it out. Am I filming or am I waiting it out? Is it the same for everybody? We were in the mists of wonder. I wonder how Linda over a bit. Ever told you about the story of the noon? I went to howling over the hills. So this is a intersecting departure, folks. If you go and look on um, Google Earth, look at all the different intersection points. You can see all the old overlay of the old runways here at uh, London Heathrow as well. It's quite interesting when you know, you can almost trace the old layout. It's gone again. YouTube or is it Harris, video and audio find for me. Have I never told you, Captain Manor? Keeping my eye on this fella here. Is that the Sri Lankan jet? Um, yes, it is. In from Colombo. Just one other thing. You mentioned that your wife was out when you came home. Well, that ain't quite right, is it, sir? Because your wife was out shopping. She came home before you left for the city. No idea what you're talking about, mate. <laughs> uh, Rich Olney, Air Force One, most tracked on Flight Radar 24. What is her position slash location? Is it the one off the corner? Uh, 
uh, the Doomsday plane apparently. Fares al um Fares 787 10 or 7878. Um I think that last one that went out um was possibly a 10. Let's just have a little look. Um Yes indeed it was and is <coughs> Bravo Lima Alpha off to New York. Stuart Watson, Grim 99 is not Air Force One, it's the Doomsday Bird. 747 US Air Force, Grim 99, near Cornwall, Ken 100. Oh dear, oh dear, oh well, well, well. I, I don't know what to suggest, Jilly. I, I've got no idea. I'm sitting down at the moment, am I, am I supposed to be filming? I don't, I don't know what to do. You fixed it again, have you? So now I don't know whether I'm filming and it's being watched or whether we're good. Okay. So it's intermittently going off then, is it? Funk it. Do 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 Gotta get funky. Mark Burnett, thank you. Daniel Burns, buffer to the short doesn't really distract so much. The boot lad said doomsday back. Yeah, maybe it is the uh, doomsday plane that he's uh, causing um, some connectivities. Thanks, folks. We have no idea what is the uh, cause of this uh, technical issue. Um, absolutely fine first hour and a half we're here. Okay, YouTube possibly having a... Uh, Ellis Chernoff, incredible telephoto shot of Virgin Pin Sharp. Love that man, love him. Thank you, Ellis. KB. From whence it came and where it goes, nobody knows. Katrina. Yeah, great shot. Fuck it. Watch this start up, folks. Oh, uh. Are they perhaps, uh. Being, is that aircraft being taken to gate? Uh, uh, to uh, a stand? Um, I don't know. Uh, normally that, I looked away, uh, normally the tug would be unhitched. Oh, go around. What's going on? What's going on? Pilot induced go around. Oh, wow, what was that? Hey, funky shot. Wow, wow, wow. What was that? Oh, I missed that. Oh, that's a tall tail. That's a tea tail, that is. Is that a C-17 or an A-400 or... Oh, mate, it flew through the back of that shot there. And now I can't grab it because it's... I don't know whether I'm in focus or not. God bless you, blimey, O'Reilly and all that malarkey. Let's just get a visual position. Okay, so that hangar there... Stop it! Okay, that hangar there... And above from that hangar... Ah, uh, we need a plane flying over it, don't we? Ah! Uh, no! 
Cruise is start. Dual electric start on the Dreamliner, of course. Electric engine start, not the usual sort of like pneumatic air start system that we're used to. Oh, I'm screaming in here, is it? Virgin 330. Thanks, mate. Okay, it's Virgin Atlantic Aviation Forco. Thank you. Marcus Repolé doing a full of free check. Leading edge slats being extended now. You can see the sun glistening from them. Uh, extending the wing by only something like um, 5% in terms of the wing surface area, um, but improving the airflow by somewhere in the region of like 25%, I think. Maybe a, a little bit more, I don't know. Dead button, rightly so. Wait there at the end of the day. So if you stand still, you've got to give it a little bit of a oomph. It's quite an uphill gradient there as well, really. Coming from that lower stand. Yeah, don't forget, folks, uh, just to let you know that if you want to get these kind of views, um, and overlook the airport from like where we are now then um, look up the Hyatt Place London Heathrow um, look at it as an option thing is to be perfectly honest with you if you are planning a visit here to London Heathrow and you are going to be staying here for any length of time might be worth sort of like um, doing your research and maybe booking as late as you can uh, in terms of uh, what runway operations they're going to be on because uh, you know that's quite critical really but of course in uh, whether they're on 09s or whether they're on 27s um, a bit like the um, hill doesn't make uh, a lot, it, it, it makes quite... Touching. Oh my god. Okay, we're hearing that... Uh, is that on Is that on Twitter, GP? Oh, sorry, is that on... Um, okay, from who? Darren, thank you, uh, giving us an update that apparently the... Um, the main servers uh, with YouTube are in Ireland and big thunderstorms there. So static, some kind of static uh, issue has, uh, bless you, has uh, caused those problems that we've just been experiencing and hopefully it will uh, discontinue. that um, not expecting any thunderstorms that's for sure um, somebody asking earlier on about the 787 8 9 and 10 uh, this is another 10 here four doors on the uh, 7 8 10 and the 9 oh it's the 350 1000 sorry <laughs> glimpsed it out of the corner of my eye while I was looking at something else. Of course it's an A350-1000. Uh, 78710 and uh, uh, 9 have the same amount of doors I believe. Uh, all got four doors haven't they? Um, 78710 also has the, um, the four 
two axles undercarriage, four wheels on a wagon. Um, coming up that hill there, she's gonna park all the way down the other end, I think. Sarah Parry made my dad's day. That's nice, isn't it? A nice DHL jet. Um, just coming out over the other side of the airfield, you can see. Clear bear. Air Force One is designated AF1 when the president is on board. So it could be a 757, it could be the 747, it could be um, whatever aircraft it might be, but AF1 is the designation for the uh, for the aircraft that is transporting the uh, the president. It may be next week that 757 or 747 or whatever it might be is uh, doing uh, something else and transporting another diplomat or whoever it might be. That is then not designated AF1. Um, but uh, yeah, it only is only designated Air Force One when the aircraft, when the president is um, on board. Krish Tiwara, actually 51,074 meters. Yeah, very little. It's interesting that. Um, Reverser doors, the hinge reversers. Blimey, she's seen a she's seen a few different engines. Those cows, haven't they? Blimey, look at that. Well, I say that it's actually just the um, hinged cows. Those uh, the whiter of them um, that are that are uh, odd. I think you'll find uh, behind that you can see the outline of the reverse, the hinged reverser doors forward um, engine nacelle which is a big chunky nacelle on the Trent 7 isn't it well, I'm guessing and that of course is the um, classic A330 uh, she's a she's a 300 isn't she she's a 300 I think she's a 300 200 is quite noticeably stubbier a bit like the 787-8 is a very stubby um, head plane. Nice old workhorse that looks like, doesn't it? I park up where the um, Always love looking down on Heathrow as I've departed uh, with those shots. Look down as you pass over uh, over Terminal Five, over the um, nice triple, over the reservoirs there. to be swallowed up by um, Air India and the Tartar group. 
Ta ta! A220 Airbus Mini 350 I call it Something making a racket on the southern runway Very high cirrus cloud. Not sure what the. Uh... Oh, it's a 330. Wow. Trent. Trent Power 330. They can chuck out a serious amount of reverser. Those hinge doors. Still got them open. Still got them open. They're just closing them now. Crazy. Full beans. Mick Eli plastering services. <laughs> Giving him a personal bit of um, marketing there. <laughs> Is it Mick Ellie or Mick Eli? I don't know. But anyway, he's a great plasterer, is Mick. South coast and descending, uh, Andrew Stanley. Now, if he's passing the south coast and he's coming into Stansted, Jilly, we'll see it going uh, descending into Stansted. We know all about it. Um, most definitely, we will, as we have seen the uh, MD11 on occasions. So, look out for that, folks. We may well see that 747, um, the Doomsday. Is it the Doomsday machine? Wow. Once seen by ourselves out of the blue at um don't tell me, don't tell me. <laughs> uh. Brussels <laughs> Was hurrah the last minute sort of like what the hell's that? Oh my good boy. It's a flipping jumbo with a sodding great big canoe on the top of its roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It was circling to touch down. Um, it's a shame we never got it, but we did catch it at gate, didn't we? We did, um, we did see her. So we might see the doomsday machine, folks. E4B just passing Southampton. Uh, Gareth Sunset Shepherd, thank you, Gareth. Uh, XQ4D US Air Force C40 um, taking off from Stansted currently. Interesting to see the. Um... Oh, start up. Where's that one? That's the Q8 uh, triple set. Reach for the skies. Keep an eye on that jumper. Bishops, Wolfham, Hampshire. Oh, 
Bishop Smalltham has to buy. That's behind me, isn't it? Bishop Smalltham is behind me, isn't it? That's nice, isn't it? Dean Stew, Advanced Air Ball Command Post Night Watch, Eagle Atlanta. Tim Smart, welcome back Tim, a super class member. And Tim has just straight away also gifted 20 Big Jet TV memberships. Tim, thank you so much. Lovely thing to do, mate. Um, yes, much appreciated. Um, it, is a, it is a tremendous uh, commitment and we really do appreciate it. Anybody who's a member on Big Jet TV, uh, we appreciate your support, we love your company. Wouldn't be the same without you, I've got to say. Now, this one coming in would usually indicate that there should be another one imminent for departure. Skip old bound, 7.37. Yeah, love that shot. Love that shot. Wow. Still giving it a flipping arm load. Wow, look at that. Maximum braking. Maximum braking. Bells and whistles. Uh, Longy Grim 99 over Woking Surrey. Oh, there she is, mate. There she is, GP. Look at this, folks. Yeah, you will. You will. Not for very long. Not for very long, mate. Eastbound. She's going to start turning quite shortly I think wow look at that no she's gone by now Julie gone by now mate you have to go out into the street you have to run out into the street it's going to make a left turn Clyde and that is a lovely old uh, 747 as well that's not a um I think it's a, it's a 200 or a 100. Um, should start turning. That run into Stansted. It's going to Milden Hall, is it? Oh, okay, so she won't be. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be. Uh, that's not going to be. Yeah, Milden Hall bound, usually a lot lower altitude at that point for if they're Stansted bound. Off to Milden Hall. So that's just basically a, uh, I say basically, but that is a, that is a command centre, I think you'll find for, um, for, uh, for the President of the United States, possibly, or are they just doing it's a completely unrelated exercise? I, I don't really know. 49 years old, um, Plain J. Wow. 49 years old. Oh, I told you, didn't I? She a 100 or a 200. E4 built as a military jet, was never a civilian 747 screaming email. No, indeed, she wasn't. Uh, not with that bleeding great big. Um, Apartment above the 
crazy, man. It's like, I think there's all um, telemetry equipment, all kind of uh, crazy equipment on board that above the... Um, I like to think... I like to think of that... Funky! I like to think of that... Um, the the, uh, the the big ump above the um, above the, the the upper deck as being a um, a a a, 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 um, a uh, jettisonable um, emergency escape aircraft for the president, um, where it jettisons and uh, detaches, a bit like the uh, the old space shuttle, if you know, something like that. There is. Stop it! The Dorset Aviator uh, Air Force One will, uh, air, actual Air Force One, will be near. Or whatever aircraft that the President is flying on will be near. Interesting Tuesday play is equipped with various communication tools, low frequency antenna that can be trailed up to five miles, eight kilometers behind the aircraft while in flight. Super high frequency. Wow. Um, they, didn't they have a VHF? Uh, very high frequency um, nodes on the ends of the wings, the uh, 100 and the 200, I seem to recall. Andrea, liking the Aer Lingus livery, looks like the American AVAA plane with the door ripped off at Dublin. Seven year old Dreamliner Eagle Atlanta. Yeah, um, I'd love to know how the, 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 the the sequence of failure on that. Um, apparently, the um, the walk bridge collapsed, which I just can't. They're supported by wheels, aren't they? The walk bridges. They have a supporting structure. Unless this was some. Uh, oh, oh, no, no. I mean, um, Okay, let's catch this DHL jet. This thing's going to go up very quick, folks. <laughs> Watch this. Light the blue touch paper and stand well back. Marjan, anyone know the shortest flight for a queen? Well, I mean, uh, in terms of a passenger um, service, it's got to be the olden days uh, on the high capacity, high, high. Um, capacity routes in the Far East, wouldn't it be? Um, I mean, some of the uh, Eastern carriers are continuing to use big jets for their um, high capacity routes. So something like Air India or uh, Pakistan International Airlines, um, possibly, in terms of the um, City routes, I think. Uh, Brian Stewart, I think the next um, 
747s, I think the current 747 fleet that are used to transport the, um, the President and, uh, and other dignitaries um, is, uh, will be a uh, 747-8, I think there's two of them, isn't there, that have been um, commissioned. But they just, I think they... The, uh, the cabin fit out for the uh, for the for the um, presidential or uh, should I say um, government aircraft with um, the USA is taking a few years I think I think they're ex um, believe it or not I think the um, 747s or at least one of them that was commissioned is actually ex um, did you say ex leper um, is ex um, two big tails there though. Um, Aeroflot, ex-Russian jets being commissioned by... Thank you, Tim Smart. Did I mention Tim Smart gifting for 20 Big Jet TV memberships? What a joke. Thank you, sir. Uh, next Air Force One, uh, AF-1. You see, call it Air Force One. Next government jet, isn't it? I think it's just... Air Force One, I don't know how many times you have to repeat it. AF-1 is only the designation when the Air President's on board it, so that, like I say, um, if the President hops onto an A320, um, <laughs> that becomes Air Force One, um, which is crazy, I know. But, uh, uh, yeah, Air Force One is a designation for um, the um, transportation of the President. Um, the government, official government jet, one of them, uh, or two of them even, is going to be the new 747-8. Uh, Ken Farmello, good morning from Melbourne, Australia. Good day to you, Ken. Uh, great to have um, our Australian friends with us, uh, because obviously, you know, we do try to cater for everyone, and we know we've got a lot of people who watch us from Australia and um, down there in the east especially the Far East like that, and Australasias, is it called Australs? Um, it's nice, isn't it? And something different from Scandinavian. Scandinavian airline system. I think it's called, uh, some people say it's called services. I think it's Scandinavian airline system. Um, remember that from way back in the day when I was a young lad. Um, I always remember sort of like, you know, um, certain names and titles and things like that. Um, Petra Vlasak is a new member. Peter, I'm guessing that is Peter Vlasak. Um, a very warm welcome to you, Peter. Great to see you here. Just been watching the President's Plane said it's 49 years old. That's crazy old Valerie Dickens, yes. Um, it's not the President's Plane. It's the... <laughs> I'm going to stop. Big old five door, triple seven, three hundred. Look at those engines, man. Nice sequence shot. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Week on Wednesday, folks, we'll be in Toulouse with our members. Looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to getting back to Toulouse. I haven't been there for blooming ages. Um, great place. If you're a real aviation sort of like fan and love seeing aircraft in the different stages of their assembly and, you know, in raw with no paint on them, like, you know, uh, it is a great... I do Etihad had departures today. It's quite interesting. Um, it's a very educational show, is uh, Toulouse. Noisy 200, look. Wow.
That's actually a thing. Jerry H tuning in. Uh, thanks for the gifted membership. See you in Toulouse. Brilliant. Uh, Paul Richards, tell us about the lump on top of the aircraft just in front of the tailplane. What is it? Paul Richards, just in front of the tailplane. I say that is the um, the SATCOMS blister on most aircraft. I think. Um, I mean, obviously, on some it depends on the aircraft design type, etc. Uh, as to the, uh, the 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 location of the SATCOMS blister, uh, and that's all down to hydraulic, uh, hydraulic, uh, aerodynamic. Um, it's uh, obvious on on some aircraft, it's a little bit further forward. Um, there's smaller ones. There's a, a lot of masts and um, and uh, covers on top of these modern aircraft because of all the different telemetry that's on board the aircraft not just uh, for the passengers comfort in terms of Wi-Fi and stuff like that but the satellite communication systems that the pilots pilots the pilots use um, as well as um, masts that uh, detect things like outside temperatures and um, the um, oh nice nice we will sadly miss these 757s I, I think we're going to see them in service for quite some time though um, that's a great thing to see isn't it if you're new to big jet tv we do see these uh, ice and air jets from time to time haven't seen their 737s in operation for quite some time wonder if iceland air's 737s are amongst that batch that needed to be inspected for their uh, for their tailplane attachments i think it was the uh, forward section of the tailplanes that some of the 737 maxes have been recalled on um, i don't know if it's just a max thing or whether it's uh, something that um, is across the board that found during a recent inspection well not recent that's a 787-10 i think just looking at the length of it Whacker 9, 757s looking so small nowadays, they do, don't they? They really do. Judith Moore. I know Jerry's talked about the height of the tail on the 380, but I forgot the dimensions. Can you one please share? Around about 75 feet from tip to ground, isn't it? Um, hello, hello, hello. Oh, sorry, I thought it was a. Uh, <laughs> from a distance, when you can't see that, it looks a bit like a. Um, look, you can mistake that for a military he uh, helicopter, can't you? But that's a. I think. Um, I know who's that is. Might be Mr. JCB. Satcom's blister on top of the roof of that 787 uh, in bare carbon, or uh, should I say, will be painted and um, have a treatment on it to uh, protect it from heat and uh, and low temperatures, friction.
Yeah, the different uh, number designations on aircraft uh, are generally um, the size, the different variants. You know, that's an A350. I think it's a 1000. Is that a 1000? You see by our undercarriage. Normally, that's the best way to. Um, that is um, the best way to identify an A350 1000 against its uh, smaller 900 brother or sister. Other than that, identical, uh, different length, of course, and that is something visually that you learn to um, identify. Very nice Austrian 320 Neo. Look. Wow, that was quite a steep pull up, wasn't it? Did it? Gareth Sunset Shepherd giving us details. It's triple seven about to wind up its big GEs. Oh, look at that rudder. You are go Right on time, man. Right on time. Look at that. Right on time. One out, one in. One in, one out. Still no engine start. Look at the um, elevator seat. As soon as they start those engines, you can see the, uh, the 
ailerons on the outboard section of the wing there and the elevators move up to their neutral position there they go now it's alive What all doom gum? Screaming in, take care, my friend. Uh, planning a trip back to Boston at some point in the future. Hopefully, Mr. Emu will be um, around and about. We'll meet up with uh, hey Jerry. What are you doing, you douchebag? <laughs> Sammy kissed Viata. Hey. Body gear up and back, wing gear left and right, 35 metric tons of undercarriage alone, all controlled by hydraulic systems, very very sophisticated hydraulic systems and surprisingly small hydraulic um, rams as they are known. Turning it on a sixpence. It's insane, isn't it? Yeah. Climb, baby, climb! You see what I mean about the uh, the passenger walk bridge, folks. See the um, you can just about see the wheel attachments underneath the walk bridge. So it's it's supported, even if it should fail per se. I don't quite understand. Uh, wow, look at that three cafe tails right there. I don't quite understand the um, the physics around that failing 
because if it was to fail, I mean, uh, to, 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 to drop, so to speak, um, it would, there are, high, there is a hydraulic system that's operating um, on those, uh, I believe, there's a hydraulic, uh, they're hydraulic legs on the, um, the footbridge, the walk bridge. Tim Smart, didn't we? And there's Ian Forber, a four striper, thank no, three striper, sorry. Ian, thank you so much, doesn't really matter anyway. Um, thank you so much, Ian. Wonderful gesture, gifting a big Jet TV membership. Thank you, my friend. Some people like these, look at that. Now you're going to see the walk bridge being attached to L2, I think that is. John Walton, hydraulics did fail, I have a picture. Wow, it was the hydraulic system then. Wow, I did mention that earlier. Um, wow. Surprised that uh, is there one there? Is that one now? You can see the uh, see the um, see the legs there, um, and there is a hydraulic system that raises and lowers the uh, the receptacle. You call it that? Or the door? Or the opening? Or the blah blah? Um, So that's a, a required skill in itself of the uh, the operator um, operating those uh, the uh, the walk bridge. Have a, they have a little sort of like joystick, a bit of like a PlayStation type uh, joystick um, off to the left on most of these um, walk bridges. Uh, the control box, should we call it? Wait for that walk bridge to uh, be attached, mm. or is it already attached? TCC Cafe needs to speed up their taxi. Yeah. We were told that, I, re I remember reading about that, but that was only in New York, wasn't it? It was only um, New York that they were asked to speed up their taxiing, um, I believe. But apparently the reason why, <laughs> the reason why they've been asked to t uh, speed up their taxiing is because they were being paid, or are being paid, by the time that they're actually on board the aircraft. Once the aircraft engines are switched off, oh, this is nice. The Profit Hunter E195 E2. Best single aisle cabin layout I can uh, I can categorically say. Um, I prefer it over the A220, uh, over the A320. Any other uh, single aisle? Um, sooner fly on one of those over from uh, United States. This is the United States of America. Are we reaching? It keeps hanging up. Distant sound of Trent. General Electric's firing up.
You gotta love those tight shots. It's a China jet starting up on it. Lavan 74, uh, these commercial airplanes didn't have an APU. Boeing 707, Douglas DC 8, Concorde ATR 47, 42, 72. No APU. Auxiliary power unit. So, obviously, a late development. Rotate shot, man. Funky. Okay, see that uh, triple seven wing in all her big flexy glory. As she cranks it over to the left. See those wings bent right up. Audio check. Say it there, Dad. Gotta get funky. Yeah. Sorry, folks, just fiddling around with the. Um, Tables and a microphone. Where it's at? Yeah. Beautiful light. LL's 777 for a while, have we? What's that, GP? Hello? Keo 68, how does the aircraft turn in flight? Well, Keo, generally uh, by using its um, control surfaces on the wings, ailerons, outboard ailerons, um, and uh, high and low speed ailerons, uh, the 777, like the one you're seeing there, has an inboard aileron, which I believe is the high speed aileron. The outboard ailerons are the low speed ailerons, I believe, on the Boeing at least. Um, whereas on the Airbus, apart from the A300, uh, there is no what's known as the flapperon, um, the big uh, sort of like a flap aileron, if you see what I mean. But um, on some aircraft as well, you will see, uh, de depending on the conditions, you'll see uh, some of that sometimes the speed brakes being manipulated a little bit to uh, control pitch and um, all that. Not pitch, um, uh, uh, turn, sorry. Pitch being up and now. Right now, that's the elevators being used. 
Keeping those elevators at a uh, controlled angle. Once the aircraft is taken off, you can actually ease off on that. It'll climb quite nicely. Sometimes you have to still still have to pull quite because the aircraft does want to sort of like uh, nose down. Um, even when you're in a steep climb, you know, you let off, it's a bit like letting your foot off accelerate, it will slow the engine braking, will, uh, um, will slow the, 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 the a car down, but if you come off the, if you come off the, um, off the, um, the stick, or the control column, then, um, you know, it will, it will tend to dip, the nose will dip. Um, so it's uh, you have to sort of like maintain that uh, that pressure on the uh, on the co control column. Why not? Beautiful conditions now. Classic. See right inside those engines. Smoky the old Tread 7s, aren't they? Getting on a bit now. What's that, GP? What are you talking about, mate? Oh, really? Oh! Okay. Um, Air Force One. Now, this is Air Force One. Um, carrying the President of the United States of America um, off the coast of Ireland I'm hearing. Uh, it's on ADSB by the way, different um, app to, we're dropping the link now folks. Avro Arrow, thank you. Turns, uh, shots just before the turns. Thank you my friend. So we're gonna see whether we've got uh, Biden's jet also coming in to, uh, is it Milton or, or is it Stans? Did read all about it. Well, well, well. Okay. Two for the price of one, eh? Hey. Old feller, any old Biden. He was a he was a proper uh, um, geezer in his day, wasn't he? Think, um, big respect to him for doing what he's doing at his age. They got one of those um, cutaway lift things that they've been advertising on TV, where you can. Sort of like a bit like the um, Starship Enterprise, where they sort of like the lift comes down. It's a fair old walk up those steps now, especially a jumbo. Easy does it, son. Easy does it. Oh, my that. Bless it. All banter, folks. All banter. Hello. It's got a uh, replacement nacelle on that jet. Uh, it's very odd, I have to say. We are uh, usually very um right, let's see. Beautiful light, beautiful light. 
Yeah, these pictures, some of them are uh, uh, very artistic, aren't they? <laughs> Ingesting all that air, gobbling it up. A350. Just like British Airways, all uh, Virgin Atlantic's fleet of 350s are 1000 variants. Super stretch. Big set of undercarriage on a look. Rolls Royce. So is the um, rear set, wow, beautiful sun ping off the tail then. Does the, um, is the rear set of wheels on the 350-1000 not braked then? Egypt Air 320 Neo, night now, night now. It's nice to see, leveling out now. Contact departure, 118 decimal five. Good night. Farewell, Chirio. <coughs> Approaching island with several escorts, did it say to Oh, is it? Oh. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna obviously uh, not allow any sort of like nasty stuff about Biden or anything like that anybody's got their own opinions you're perfectly entitled to them freedom of speech and all that you can do that on your own channels with your own mates and your own circle of friends that's fair enough but not on here folks uh, we like to try and keep everything as uh, as clean as we can and um, you know um, a bit of banter every now and then like I just had that's fair enough but uh, Aviation in 4K's dad just landed. What, pilot in it? Pilot in it? Oh. Oh. Okay, well, we'll get him pulling off. Nice. Wow. Wow, these are beautiful sunset shots, man. Aviation in 4K's old man is flying that aeroplane or taxiing it now. Sorry, mate. Michael K just seen pictures of the door ripped off in Dublin. I need to see that. Man. Terry Stapley. First officer in the ARD shop, he flies the A350. He said it was like playing an amazing computer game. Wow, yeah. Oh, thanks for spreading the love. Odette, that's very kind of you. Left hand down, possibly. 
Let's just grab this uh, eater. Danger has abated. <laughs> Yorkshire biker, the best livery by far. Uh, is he talking about Eater? I'm guessing Yorkshire biker liking it. I love it. Um, I think it's very bold. It's a very bold statement, and I, th I think they've done a great job. Um, fair play to them. Hopefully, catch. Uh, Unless it leaves, of course, um, before a week Wednesday. Might catch Eater's 3.30 Neo. The second one, innit, I think. Yeah, very warm welcome, folks. Hope you're doing well. Um, just coming up to nine o'clock here in the UK. Um, sundown running it through till uh, around about 10 o'clock tonight and um, great to see you all hope you're doing well lovely to have uh, so many members on the chat um, getting involved in the conversation getting involved in the chat uh, helping other people out helping me out with my um, uh, aircraft um, identifications in terms of aircraft that are on the ground in the air over flying etc etc um, if it wasn't for you lot, we wouldn't have even started the whole uh, doomsday thing. Um, as well as, uh, you know, so um, give yourself a pat on the back for that. Oh, look at that. Long range, we're talking about. Long range, all the way from uh, Canada, folks. Okay, apparently we have a member on the Emirates 380 that's about to depart. Is that Halifax? Rika is on board that 380. Rika, have a wonderful time um, in Dubai or if you're a, a resident there. Um, but um, you'll have a great experience as you've probably already flown with them. But uh, wow, what an experience it is to fly with Emirates. We were very fortunate to fly with them, of course. All the way across the Atlantic, folks. Halifax, Nova Scotia, that Air Canada 737 MAX. Again, I'm not sure how the uh, config is in the uh, cabin, um, but... Um, back end onto me. Of course, the uh, 737 Long Range, um, not given its name Long Range. It's quite interesting that uh, Boeing don't designate it much like they do with uh, with uh, Airbus's 320s and stuff like that. But um, not that I'm aware of, anyway. Uh, I wonder if a specific um, number is designated to it, like they do on the. Uh, you know the 320s and um, dash 841 or whatever it is like they do with the 380s um, but um, 
yeah, just a fuel tanks. Time she coming in. Oh, really? Well, that's good to hear. Aurora Borealis, the uh, the Aurora Borealis um, A3 uh, 757 with um, Iceland Air is apparently back in service. Um, first operation tomorrow, we believe. But uh, not my favourite livery, I've got to say. Not my favourite livery with Ice and Air. My favourite livery is the red stripe, the uh, old school football strip type one. Bruce McDonald's 737 Max probably carries the same amount of passengers as the old 707. You're probably right there, mate. Um, crazy uh crazy when you look back at those jets of a golden era the old jurassic jets like the 707 um four engined the coronado and dc8 and things like that um don't think they ever had a 707 super stretch just the uh 720 which was the long range variant um which was stubbier shorter um but the um the uh, DC-8, of course, did have a super stretched variant, which was um, DC-8-71, I think. But, um, but yes, if you look at a, I've, I, there is a picture, a comparison picture of the 707 sitting next to a 747, and it looks absolutely minute. Um, I think the 757-200 is around about the same fuselage length as an A321. I think something like that. Heike Aurora, um, Echo 6 Bravo, thank you. Heike Aurora. Um, stand by. Uh, wait a minute. Muffled tone of the 200, the Trent's uh, 800 on that 200. Claire Bear, Helen Clap, today. Uh, Claire Bear, Air Force One, now over Dublin. Coronado's great at Gatwick, Nigel Armstrong, yes they were. Spantax Coronado. Remember them. Hey, hey. Eve Hoskin, not the most comfortable flying a Max Long Haul. I still get a bit freaked out um, about the fact we flew over the Atlantic twice on the 730s and Max in 2018 just before grounding. Yeah, kind of crazy that. Um, I was uh, lucky to fly on the um, Air Iceland Air Max back from Seattle, I think it was, to Keflavik. Never quite 
forgotten with the name Spantax. So, Passenger on board this aircraft, folks. painting in it. Turn Clyde. Singapore should be going soon, shouldn't she? Outside them pearly gates to my matchstick men and a matchstick cats and dogs. Terminal 5s and Britus Airways. Terminal building. You see all the lights flashing away in there. Wagamama in there. Fully operational now. Flight radar reporting last whenever it was. The busiest day of in aviation um, since the pandemic, was it? Seems that um, pre-pandemic numbers Okay, well, the most tracked flights ever on flight radar the other day. Not just post or pre -pan since pre-pandemic levels, but uh, uh, ever in a day. Crazy. Certainly, uh, God knows how many um, aircraft and pilots uh, we have a shortage of. Uh, the world has... Oh, and as if by magic. Right on cue. Thank you, madam. Magic men and magic kids and dogs. It's interesting that uh, the way that's glistening in the sunlight. Amazing you on three feet. Do what, GP? Should we just show people quickly where we are on the map, Julie, just to be um, 
we'll be right back in a very short space of time folks you can still hear me of course but um we're going to put the map up um for our friends here at uh you're not going to miss anything don't you worry about it Cha! maybe a couple of single aisles but um we're putting the um the map up now let me know when it's up please gp um so as you will see i think without looking at the map it's going to be top left in it top left uh, there you can see um we are on the sort of like uh north western side of the airfield right on the corner um well not actually so much right on the corner but um overlooking uh, the bread bin or the uh, the control tower you can see of course um all that midsection of the uh of the um of the airport uh see over the terminal two uh you can see terminal three you can see the tips of the tails on um at terminal five um but you can see a tremendous amount of runway action and also um taxi um activity taxiing and aircraft being um, taken and brought back from remote stands and so on and so forth so great place to stay here okay GP lose it please David Alford is a brand new member welcome David am I off GP is it off Munich has got a beautiful terminal building, but uh, especially during the festive period, isn't it? The whole roof is lit up. Um, it's a light show sort of thing going on in there, isn't it, Wiz? There are other, other um, terminus that are... Oh, save it, Dave. And you can see we were talking about earlier on, that's the... Uh, that's the, we're actually right slap bang, well, just to the right of the centre line of, uh, of one of the old runways here, as you can see there. Like I say, folks, go on Google Earth and um, look at um, an overhead shot of London Heathrow. And then you, uh, if you go online and look for uh, old original London Heathrow um, pictures, you'll be able to see it's almost like the Star of David type uh, layout uh, that was very common amongst uh, airfields back in the day, um, especially the old bomber bases. Um, this uh, airport obviously never seeing any service um, with uh, during the war times, but. Uh, it was the first ever aircraft to operate out of here in passenger um, configuration was an old Lancaster bomber uh, named the Lancastrian. on the 350 well each to their own I think it looks splendid on the uh, 380 one of my favorites I've got to say my James Air Force one just north of Anglesey looks like it's going you know the same route as uh, is it coming on the same route is it that day? Is it Donaldson light towers at LAX. Okay, north of Bangor. Blimey. When that sun goes down, drops a few degrees of telches.
Oh, okay, we've got an intersect. Let me just show you the sunset, folks. We all love a sunset, don't we, eh? Hey. There's a lovely sunset shot. Good that we don't have an aeroplane. I've got a bird. I've got a slug. Does it talk? Yes, I'll have it. You made you! She's hammering it, man. Listen to those rollers. Looking rather splendiferous. The sunlight bouncing off her tail that Trent's working overtime. Wow, it was a fast departure, wasn't it? Get that clay. Probably a little bit early for that, I think. Here it comes. Here it comes. So there's the uh, walk bridge attached. I can see, I can clearly see how um, the door was ripped off by the um, by the walk bridge. There's a lot of tonnage there um, when it's unsupported. Um, of course, it doesn't need to drop all the way. It just needs to drop a few feet. Because um, I don't think they, the, the, the suspension, the legs are, are particularly, you know, the moving parts of the walk bridge are particularly long. Uh, because there's only a, a, a small amount of difference in the height of the doors of these, uh, of these um, super twins really uh you're talking about a few feet maybe that but you know if you've got all that weight um and all of a sudden it comes crashing down on the door and let's face it it will come down crashing on the door um but what's interesting is that that um rubber uh 
section of the uh, of of the walk bridge is the part that's over the door. So are you telling me that even that, because it is it is lined obviously with, uh, you know, um, uh, with metal. That uh, it's not all. Uh, it is rubber. Obviously, there is rubber um, material there, but it is uh, it is a a pretty substantial amount of um, of alloy, whatever it is, that's uh, within that um, unit to for it to be a movable structure. So even that coming down. Um, the full force of that onto a onto a onto a door, and let's face it, the mechanism on these doors isn't. It, even though it's it's you know it's bulky, it's not um, you know the hinges are not. Uh, I mean they're obviously big. They've got big pins on them and stuff like that. It's more the the locking mechanisms are the big beefy juicy parts. The uh, the hinges themselves are probably quite flexible, not flexible, but um, delicate components more so than um, you know uh, so I can I can now see how that has been literally torn off the aircraft oh, we fade to grey No, it's not dangerous to be honest with you. If it's not on radar, it's being tracked by satellites all around the world, not just ADSB. There are uh, people who will be tracking that aircraft. Desirable or undesirable, there's nothing you can do to stop it really, unless they put a complete block on it. And um, had um, what they have got is obviously, um, you know, early warning systems and all that kind of thing. bristling steel lining I think it's actually steel lined that uh, that um, movable structure the rubber structure attachment okay. hugs the profile of the fuselage expecting one of these to uh, push aha first Etty had of the day Although I think one went out when we were uh, just about to go live. Um, still believe uh, the return of their 380 service expected on, um, on the 15th of this month, folks. We're going to try and catch it. Um, either the arrival or the departure, one of the two, uh, depending on the uh, conditions of the day. Um, you know all different parameters uh, but that is the plan saturday the 15th we are planning to catch uh, etihad's return of their a380 service the super jumbo as they call it this is uh Yeah. 
a Monday, isn't it? I thought 23rd was a Saturday. 23rd, no. Oh, okay. Oh, well. We will keep a check. Thank you, everybody, for your updates. And we will um, most definitely, uh, if you give us information, we will obviously follow up on it. Um, if you do get information, please tell us the source of your information. Always very helpful. So that we can go and look at it ourselves and uh, get the official lowdown. Probably will be contacting Etihad themselves to see if we can get any more information um, nearer the date. What a beautiful shot, man. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Welcome to the holiday program. Isn't that beautiful, Matt? What a beautiful aeroplane. Prince Charming, oh. Ridicule is nothing to be scared of. Don't you ever. Don't you ever. Stop being dandy, showing me your handsome. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this one over beer begin. Uh, Sue Taylor Qantas on the way. And here she comes, the big row. Thank you very much, Sue. See, this is where I rely on you guys to keep me um, keep me posted, even if you if you're not posting it for me, you're just posting it for everybody else to look, then uh, it's great. But when it's, uh, when it's uh, targeted at me, it's great. Thank you, Sue. Jill Perry, love in the sky. Just saw Air Force One right over our house, Jan Clark saying. Look at that. Uh, is that their new um, Red Devils? Um, Brussels uh, icon jet. They repainted it, didn't they? She's all lit up like a bleeding Christmas tree, mate. Just what? Oh, Ben Brown, thank you. Oh, it's booking sites, is it? It's not the, um, I thought you said that it was from their website. Oh, booking on their website. Okay. Yeah, 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 but if they're, if they're showing it on that day, they wouldn't just show it on that day for the sake of it, would they? It would obviously be a... No? Uh, Martin Smith won a day, the big roo. Uh, of course, we've got the uh, the little Joey uh, that goes out as well. You know, the 787 direct. But this one's going via Singapore, of course. Why it's only showing on certain on a later date, I don't know. Oh, yeah, maybe I don't know. <laughs> yeah, US Air Force 757 200 Reg 090016 passing over Ireland at 35,000 feet, possible Air Force 2. Well, that is when it's carrying the president's um, wife, isn't it? AF2. I don't know. I don't know. 
Or vice president, yes. like it's uh yeah yeah great airline to fly with Etty had wow not even thinking about flying yet look wow 200 yards from the end of the runway, for God's sake. Carrier style takeoff. Wow. This roo's going to look good, mate. So is this Dreamliner, mate. Oh, sorry about that. Tell you what I'm going to do real quick when that. Uh, whilst we're doing this, sorry folks, I don't like doing this, but I actually just wait, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, even the little ones looking good, man. Even the little ones looking good. I'm all lit up. Uh -huh. oh. Really? Well, that's as a result of. I'm sure, it's not battery, is it? Is that battery related, possibly? Have a look. Oh, quick Luke. The diagnosis. No, 67 percent left on that one. Okay, well I just um, sort of like restarted that one. Nothing to be scared of. Okay, we're we doing this one. Le President. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? Still heading south? Still heading south? Oh, that's not good. She ain't going to come over here if she's going, to, if she, she's going anywhere near Milton Keynes, mate. That's up the M1, that is. 
and she's going to go left into Stansted or whatever she's going to do into Stansted. Clear take off, 2 7 right. See the uh, lights on the horizontal stabilizers there at the back, folks. See, two lights on the flat section of the tail. That's uh, the tail illuminators. She's got to lit up like a Christmas tree, mate. A bit like old Cat and, uh, Dave likes on his 350. Uh, as he liked on his uh, 380 as well. Captain Dave. This is the, 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 the camera setting. That's good. Okay. Oh! <laughs> he knocked his mouse, did he? Oh, okay. One is uh, north of me, not to be seen today. But we saw, I would say, um, even though I know, you know, I agree that, you know, Air Force One carrying uh, the president. Um, I think, still think the doomsday machine is actually a little bit more sort of like, wow, uh, have a look at, look at it anyway. Yes, early birdie, you're right. It does need to be more or less dark, complete dark, to see the effect of the tail illuminates. And it grey indeed. Heading to Singapore. 10,000 feet, Claire Bear, thank you. That's Air Force One. There's no, um, no illumination on the... Um, on the wind socks at London Heathrow, which is quite interesting. Something that our friends at uh, just about see.
Right, well. There we have it, folks. Another afternoon in the life of Big Jet TV. Hope you're doing well. Um, it's been great having your company once again. I'll tell you what, when that sun goes down, it's a, it's a bit Bristol, isn't it, eh? Hey? Um, film still so sharp in the darkness um, yeah Roger I mean I've got to be honest with you this camera is is is, is um, it's quite effective in the dark uh, we've done it before we don't need any of that you know night camera stuff you know um, not really interested in that to be honest with you I like everything to be exactly um, as you see it so to speak raw rather than sort of like enhancing the light or you know adding other stuff in that sort of like allows you to see it but it looks different than it, it you know uh, anyway um, thank you folks can I sleep now Brab saying um, right on the back end Ronald with wings thank you my friend glad that I caught that one gifted 10 big jet TV memberships thank you to everybody who's gifted memberships folks we really do appreciate it I'm intersecting right here um, uh, Sue Taylor uh, thank you Robert Hill, thank you everybody, I'm not going to read out loads and loads of names because obviously I don't want to seem preferential but there's a lot of you folks saying thank you and good night and a great show, thank you everybody. Uh, lots of people saying of course a um, great thing to um, for Ronald to do and everybody else who's gifted Big Jet TV membership as well. Big, big influx of subscribers just because we're asking you to subscribe, folks. But also bear in mind that I'm reading out um, my members' comments in green, highlighted in green here. Um, but listen, if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notifications button as well, or the little bell. Um, turn on your notifications, folks. Follow us on Twitter as well. Um, I'm on LinkedIn. Um, not a lot, a great deal of activity. I use more the LinkedIn stuff for news feeds and stuff like that but we're very active on Twitter. You can also get your notifications on there. Um, and uh, also on the app as well, make sure you download the app. Completely no in-app in purchases or anything silly like that. It's all free of charge. It's just another way of you getting your notifications. Um, if you're interested in any of this, um, just go to bigjettv.shop or bigjet.shop, one of the two, and it'll get you there. Uh, you can also see your merchandising on the bottom of your, uh, of your screen there. Um, other stuff that we're bringing out as soon as well, um, so keep an eye on that. Um, next week is Wednesday, the Wednesday show. No idea yet, absolutely no idea. We, you know, with that whole um, uh, thing with... Um, with Biden, we don't know. It may be that we might end up going somewhere to just sort of like for, uh, get a visual on him. But uh, yeah, um, listen, folks, thank you so much. It's been great. Thank you for your company. Thank you for your uh, for your um, your passion and your commitment and your love for aviation that um, we all um, really enjoy here on Big Jet TV. We're going to send you off with Air India. Thanks everybody, take care, look after yourselves, be good, and whatever you do, do it responsibly, and within reason. Take it easy, see you later, bye bye.